Sure. You looked your mortality dead smack in the face. Brain aneurysm, that's not good news. No. COVID, especially in the middle of the pandemic, before the vaccine, that's not good news. You're on the other side. You have built an incredible business. You have relationships coming out the wazoo. What's important to you now? How does life look different to you? Well, you know, it's life is different because uh, I want to be a part of life. So it's you have to make changes. And uh, and I have I uh, my first change was after being with having uh, having had COVID-19 uh, was to get myself in better physical shape. So um, and I'll share this with everyone. I was 396 at one point. That's how Ooh, big boy. How tall? Six four. Then I um, decided with a friend of mine whose name is Hitesh Patel. I call him Coach Hitesh. He dragged me to the gym, and we were going every morning at six a.m. And we've been doing that since last August. So I went from three ninety six to three thirty one. Beautiful. That's what I am right now. Um, this shirt I'm wearing is a 4X. I could probably wear a 3X, you know? And uh, so that was really the first change I, I had to make was getting control of, you know, my health, my weight. And then it was making other changes. You know, you know, uh, I always go by this uh, mantra that uh, I live by and it's called li uh, eliminate distractions. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, they, they start out with a plan, they try to make a plan, but then they find reasons not to put the plan into motion. And, and what I mean by that is if your plan has to be between nine and five, follow through on your plan, then everything else comes in line accordingly after five o'clock, because if you're really trying to stick to that plan, you really have to devote your full effort, time, concentration to that plan. And uh, a lot of people get distracted, you know, and it's simple little things like, you know, hey, I got to go get my girlfriend a gift. Hey, I got to go get this kid a gift. Hey, I got to go do this. Hey, I got to do that. And then, you know, it's like going to the gym. Why do I go to the gym every day that early in the morning? Because that's when I know I can get it in. I don't make an excuse for not going. You know, obviously the sleep, it gets deprived a little bit, but uh, I, I feel great that I go at that hour. It's out of the way. And then, uh, you know, I go about 6 a.m. and I'm done by 8. So I'm in the shower by 8, 05, 8, 10. Off I go on my way. So, um, you know, those are probably the changes that I think were the most important to make. And, uh, and then the other thing was, you know, surrounding yourself with people that are really your friends. You know, it's, there's always a lot of wants, a lot of asks and a lot of requests, especially when you're in my world and you have to figure those things out. And that's the only thing I think that I've lacked in over the years, but I've gotten better at, I guess, as you get older, you get more knowledge and you get more wiser. Well, that's the one thing that I've discovered that you have to analyze every, everyone and everything because there's tons of opportunities out there. They come every day. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of picking the right one, the one that makes the most sense and the one that allows you to go to sleep at night knowing that you did right, you didn't do wrong, and that people can't badmouth you or curse you or for doing something that wasn't uh, that wasn't uh, the right thing. You you mentioned a few things that I want to um, highlight. Our audience are comprised of people who want more out of life, entrepreneurs, success seekers, people who are not content with where they are now. They are aggressively working toward a better tomorrow. You, and I don't know how you framed it up, but I like the idea. You spoke 
and I'll put it in my words, it was about discipline, right? Uh, if you were supposed to do something between nine and five, there can be no distractions whatsoever. So if you have to work out, if you have other things that life just happens, we know that. They cannot happen during those hours. You have built an incredible uh, insurance agency. You're the president and CEO, Coastal Advisors LLC Insurance. Did you always have this mindset? Did you go into building your business with the mindset, when I'm at work, I am at work, I'm laser focused. Or is this something that has come over time? Because I don't believe that success is accidental. It is very much intentional. And people who are highly successful, yes, they're driven. Yes, they have ambition, but they have a level of commitment and discipline unlike 99% of the population. So when you were building your business, what time were you getting up? What time were you going? And I'm talking about in the early days. We can bring it up to what it has blossomed into. But in the early days, what did your level of discipline to build in the business look like? It consisted of, uh, I used to joke around, I would be like, my name, the name of my company is called All Night Insurance. <laughs> <laughs> because the hours were... Uh, you know, were intense, but I'll, I'll tell you something that someone told me a long time ago. When I first interviewed with uh, an insurance guy who wanted me to be in the business, he asked me a simple question. He goes, how much money do you want to make a year? All right, well, I'm, uh, you know, making 35, 45,000 out of college. Uh, I go, well, to live in New York, you know, at the time I was living with my parents, so I would say, eh, I, I, if I make 100000 a year to start off, I'd be happy. He turned around and said to me, he goes, go find another job. And I looked at him and I said, wow, why, why do you say that? He said to me, because that means you're not willing to work the hours that need to be worked to be successful. And I never forgot that conversation. So, uh, you know, I, I said to him, okay, so uh, what's the rest of the story? The insurance business is the greatest business in the world because you make as much as you want to make and you work the hours that you want to work. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.